Hey y'all, welcome back to Enchanted Bayou. I am so happy you guys are back joining me, and if you are new here, welcome. Tonight we are going to do a really creepy thing, I guess you could say. I don't talk about my house that much, but as you can imagine with all the spirit box sessions and everything that I do, I have a lot of spirits that are in my house. And every now and then, I guess you could say an unsavory character comes into my house and bothers me and my family. And that is what is going on right now. In addition to the spirit box sessions and inviting all these spirits into my home so that we can talk to them, I've been having problems with some every now and then. My house is also a murder house, so that's really kind of hard to to put out there and hard to say. I don't really know another way to say it besides that. Uh, basically, there was a son and a mother that lived here, and the son killed his mom and buried her in the backyard. So, as you can imagine, we have a few spirits, resident spirits here too. So, she is here. She's a nice little old lady. She's very sweet, but we keep her outside most of the time so she doesn't bother people because she does come around and bother people <sighs> but that's not what I'm here to talk about maybe some other time we can talk about my murder house and we can talk to the old lady that lives here permanently but today I want to talk about I have I'm just gonna say it I have a mimic that lives in my house my whole family has now heard this mimic and by mimic, I don't mean someone saying my name, like just going, Cassandra. No, I'm talking full-on conversations. In my house, for instance, for instance, my daughter thought that she heard me having a full conversation with my mother, and we weren't talking at all. And she thought there was a full conversation going on. Everyone in my family has heard this. So it's just getting really creepy. So I thought, let's do a spirit box and see what in the world is here before I get rid of it. I'm just kind of curious about it because we don't usually get entities in the house. So I figured tonight I would try and talk to it and I'm probably being absolutely crazy and dumb and you guys are probably going to say that in the comments, but I was going to do it anyway and I figured I'd show you guys. Uh, let's get into the spirit box. So. I have two guides, Ethan and E. They're great. They help people talk. I'm hoping they can help this entity talk. If not, I'm hoping that they will tell me and answer some questions that we have about this. Uh, in addition to Ethan and E, I also have a specialist who was in the Navy for 10 years who listened to radio static and made sense of that, basically spying on other countries and fun stuff. And he reviews all my spirit boxes with me. So we have, we're we have made quite the team, I guess you could say, in reviewing these spirit box sessions. And we get really good results. So I'm hoping we have really good results with the Mimic. And then I'm gonna kick it out of my house. I feel just, I don't know, kind of nervous doing this. So I'm sorry if I'm rambling, but I think that's it. We're gonna get in the spirit box. I use the old tried and true PSB7. I know it's loud, obnoxiously loud but it allows spirits to talk so much better, I think, than any of the others that are out there. I really, really like the spirit box. The noise does suck, so if you are wearing headphones, I'm cautioning you now that it's going to get really noisy here in just a few seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead, get this set up, you adjust your volume, and let's go. <laughs>
I can kick you out? We'll see. I, I know I can kick you out. Okay, goodbye. Ooh, that just gave me the chills. That was creepy the whole time. And at the end, did you guys hear it? It sounded like it said, we'll see. But in a really deep man's voice, like, we'll see. Ooh, I got the chills now. Anyway, so now maybe I hope I get some answers about what is going on in my house. And uh, I thought you guys would enjoy it too. And I am whew, going to listen back and see. Maybe it's something nice. Maybe, maybe it's something nice. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I won't kick it out. Maybe I'll let it stay if it can behave. But mimicking my family and scaring my family is unacceptable. And so if it continues to do so, then it's going to have to leave. We'll just have to wait and see. Maybe I'll update you in one of the upcoming videos and let you know what's going on. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Have you guys ever had a mimic in your house? And uh, if so, what did you do to get rid of it? Uh, I have my own special ways, I guess, of getting rid of things because I'm used to them. But yeah, it's going to go if it bothers my family anymore. And we'll go from there. Anyway. Hope everyone's doing better than I am. Um, I'm a little creeped out. It's really late. I gotta go to sleep now. So, yeah, that was creepy. And I uh, love you guys. And um, I'll be okay. I'll talk to you later. Bye.